The Nobel Peace Prize will be handed out at a ceremony in Oslo tomorrow under extraordinary circumstances. The recipient, a brave dissident Lu Xiaobao, is behind bars in China. And China is going to great lengths to shift the international spotlight away from him and his achievements, even putting together a rival Chinese award show. Our Clarissa Ward in Beijing ran straight into that roadblock. It was a bizarre scene. The recipient of the hastily created Confucius Peace Prize didn't even come to pick up his award. Instead, a young girl, no relation, accepted the honor. And if organizers were trying to make the world forget about the Nobel Prize winner, jailed activist Liu Xiaobo, it didn't work. We will only answer questions about peace, he said. China has fought a campaign to push back against Liu and the Nobel Prize, describing the award as an anti-China farce supported by clowns. They've pressured 15 other countries into boycotting the ceremony, countries that buckled under the pressure of China's economic muscle. We visited the home where Liu Xiaobo's wife is under house arrest. We quickly learned we were not welcome. He's asking me again and again to call her on her cell phone. He doesn't seem to understand the point that her cell phone was disconnected quite some time ago. And at Beijing's central landmark, where normally we do not encounter problems with authorities. So we are here in Tiananmen Square, which is the very place where Liu Xiaobo first angered Chinese authorities during pro-democracy protests some 20 years ago. We're being approached here by some policemen to my left. Tomorrow, despite the resistance and heavy hand of China, the Nobel Prize will be awarded. And in a prison cell in frigid northeast China, Liu Xiaobo will have his honor. Clarissa Ward, ABC News, Beijing.